pilot, you have a dishonorable discharge from the Space Corps. Why? Because you keep crashing to all those asteroids and you can't recharge your ship if it blows to smithereens, right? So, this is Asteroids Recharged and I would say it's a dishonorable discharge, as I was saying. It's uh, Asteroids Discharged in all the wrong ways and all the unimaginable ways and all the imaginable ways. Something like that. So, it's a cool idea. Um, there's been a bunch of recharge games. I started playing these games with the whole discovering the missile command um, recharge and I was blown away, upgrades, all sorts of fancy fancy particle effects and I was blown away at the price, 339 Then all these other games started coming out and I feel like they were kind of shovel weared out. Um, no disrespect, just it seems like the quality has dropped since then with all these other successive uh, remakes, uh, recharges. So, so you can see like the way they've redone asteroids, instead of just making it fancy particle effects and stuff, which I would have been cool with, uh, they put a, like vector backgrounds, um, like graphing paper, I guess is the easy way to explain it, and then they put the vector asteroids on top, which kind of sounds cool uh, and creative, and then you have your vector ship, so they didn't try and make that fancy pants like. But uh, yeah, the graphics seem interesting, it's kind of like, oh, that's kind of neat was my first impression but it kind of seems blah like the effort that went into as I said aforementioned uh, missile command had gone into this like this would have been a home run especially at the price that it's at which is 13 bucks as opposed to the 339 um, I mentioned for missile command but like this game could have been so much better is what I'm getting at the sound effects are also very weak you think that for asteroids they'd be booming you know they'd be loud like, if you exploded um, something in Star Wars, let's say, and like, it would be noticeable. Here, it's like, pretty weak sound effects, sadly. Um, you know, it would be nice if there was bass, bass rattling, sorry, um, sound effects, but they're pretty light. Uh, the power-ups are cool, I'll give it that. There's a mega laser where it's like this lasting beam where you can just try and take out all of the, uh, um, all of the asteroids on the screen if you're quick. The power-ups don't last very long, so sadly it's only like five, 10 seconds or so of uh, ultimate power, I guess. There's rail guns and reflector shields, but they don't protect you from the asteroids. They just protect you from, from what I could tell, because uh, I crashed into one. They just protect you from shots from the UFOs. Then there's a side shot, which was kind of useful, but if you get hit, you're dead once. Um, but they're just, they're interesting, but they're just way too short in duration, unfortunately. Um, there's a challenge mode, which is probably interesting if you are a long-term fan and you like acquiring achievements. I didn't. I looked at them and then I just left. I had zero interest in, in that mode. Um, the local co-op sounds nice with so much of the reboot being like luster. But I doubt you want to share this game with a friend because it just it overall lacks polish. That's like the biggest takeaway from this. After seeing how cool and upgradable Missile Command was, like all these other games so far have just been, even Centipede Recharge was cool, but not, it wasn't uh, on the same level, quality, polish, everything. The cons is there's, there are no waves, there's no levels, there's no bosses, it kind of feels pointless. Um, I think Centipede was the same way, and I, I have no explanation for this. Uh, it gets, I think, faster in that game, and maybe in this game too, but like, there's no end goal to this game, and or like some sort of way to encourage you to keep playing. Uh, there's no ultimate purpose, really. It's not, I find this isn't fun to play, like, I, I thought maybe I'm just missing the point, but no, I, I think that is the point. There's, it's not fun to play this version of Asteroids, unfortunately. It just feels like it was a slog for the developers to make, and it was a slog for me to play. And their end result is, like, dull and boring for us, too. So, they didn't have a good time, and we didn't either. So, easily, this is, like, the worst reboot so far that I've played in the Recharge series. I've played three, I think it's the third one now. Uh, it's just boring, it's lacking like the pizzazz required to make this worthwhile for it, pretty much everyone except for like the ultra hardcore asteroids guys that have like the arcade machine in their room or basement or wherever. Uh, most people don't 
had that, right? So it's just super disappointing, especially as I said, it's like $13.29 regular price. I paid full price. I'm like feeling super ripped off here. Um, it's just like the worst Asteroids version I've ever played. I can't think of anything worse than this. Like this was so unnecessary to bring back. Um, the, the power upgrades are great, but like the actual gameplay is just junk. Like I have to be honest. And it's not recommended and sadly like uh, Asteroids is one of my favorites. I've played the arcade version at PAX years ago. So I know it can be fun, it can be loud and this is just dull and meh. It's discharged. It's the nastiest type. 2 out of 10 for sure. Uh, try not to keep discharging. Bye.